What's up, Raging Nation? How's it going? This is Alex Yu, and you're watching the Rage and Ronan Review. I got a review for you. Last night, I saw Bright. It's a Netflix original film from director David Ayer. Now, David Ayer most recently gave us Suicide Squad, and before that, a World War II tank drama called Fury. But before that, he was responsible for giving audiences a whole bunch of L.A. crime stories, such as he wrote Training Day, he wrote and directed Harsh Times, he wrote and directed End of Watch, and he directed Street Kings. So he's no stranger to the LA crime dramas. Now Max Landis wrote the script for Bright but he wrote it with director David Ayer in mind and I think that David Ayer was the perfect choice just because he just recently came off of Suicide Squad which was in the realm of fantasy and science fiction and he's no stranger to the genre of LA crime stories. You put the two together and you have Bright. Now I saw the trailer for this film and I was thinking how are they gonna make this work? You got a serious L.A. crime story mixed in with fantasy elements about orcs and elves. And I'm thinking, how is this going to work? This is kind of ridiculous, but I'm interested. It's intriguing. You know what it reminds me of? Of this 80s TV show called Alien Nation. And it's about this UFO which brings all these alien citizens onto earth and they coexist and they solve crimes uh, together because that's like a cop and a and an, and an alien um 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 uh, uh, his cop partner it's the same thing with bright so bright is you know it's not an original film but it kind of is like it's an original film in the sense that it's a standalone film it's not based off of anything but it definitely takes inspiration from alien nation the tv show so we got will smith as a cop and we also have um Joel Edgerton as the orc cop that he has to partner up with. They don't really like each other. It's kind of like a buddy cop, kind of like a Riggs and Murtaugh kind of thing, but with less comedy. There is comedy in this film, but um, it's more like a serious film. Now, when I'm watching this, I'm just thinking, how are they going to make this film work? How are they going to make the story work? But let me tell you, they actually make it work. I thoroughly enjoyed this film. I thought it was a, a solid piece of entertainment. And David Ayer made a better film than Suicide Squad. I gotta, I, gotta, I gotta be completely honest with you. Suicide Squad just really, really let me down. But I think that David Ayer was a perfect director for a film like Bright. Because, you know, you got the L.A. crime story thing going on. And he just nails this genre perfectly. I mean, he's really good at telling these types of stories. And then you combine the... The, the type of action that you got from Suicide Squad, which is actually, you know, I really enjoy the action from Suicide Squad. And then you combine a lot of these fantasy elements in it, and it completely works. I love the chemistry between Joel Edgerton and Will Smith. I love Will Smith's performance. I love Joel Edgerton's performance as, as an orc. And, you know, it just really gives you a different perspective on these types of... Um, like fantasy elements because when we think of orcs we think of like middle earth and we when we think of elves we think of you know um uh, what what do you what do you call that where the elves are from in in um in uh, in uh rivendale or something like that? i don't know but <laughs> but anyways um you know it gives you a different perspective on it and i just thought that max landis's script was quite brilliant in making this work now at the end of the day this is a film about like good versus evil and the unknown and bringing in like a like a this larger antagonist element that they talk a lot about but you don't really see but i still like that you know the smaller um uh the antagonist element in this film uh, which is just really a representation of something larger, which means that there's some potential for much larger things. I mean, this is just the tip of the iceberg. I think that, you know, now that they've greenlit a second, uh, like a bright sequel to happen, it really, really shows you that they can open the doors for something really, really vast and create its own universe because that's what Bright really does. It's kind of like a teaser for bigger things to come and from what I saw in this teaser, I really liked it. I love the action, I like the story, love the performances, love the, the, the chemistry, I love the banter and um, it was just a film that, it, you know, I won't say that it was, it was predictable but it was definitely a film that, that um, it kept me um, really interested because I wasn't sure what was going to happen next. It was just a lot of um, not, a lot of elements that really surprised me. It didn't blow my mind. I don't think this is an outstanding film, but I definitely feel that this is one of the more rare films to come out, uh, which it doesn't feel like they, they borrowed a lot of elements from other things. The alienation thing is there, but they really expanded it to really 
kind of make it their own. So Bright, I'm very happy to say, is definitely a... Um, I'll definitely say that um, it's worth checking out. It's a good film. I don't think it's a great film, but it's definitely a good film. Highly entertaining, and I recommend this. I recommend this as a good film. You should definitely check this out if you're subscribed to Netflix. I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10, which is a pretty solid score. So there you have it. Go check it out, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Who cares what the critics say? I think you're really, really going to enjoy it. All right? So there you have it. 7.5 out of 10. Go check it out. As always, if you enjoyed this review and you want to see more, hit that like button, subscribe to YouTube channel, like me on Facebook, The Rage Nation. Also, follow me on Twitter, Rage Nation. My name is Alex. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.